Hey guys, how are you doing? You guys okay? Good afternoon. Today is a much better day than yesterday, by God's grace. And so, yeah, I probably woke up to quite a number of, of messages asking how is she, she's, she's done a video, she's fine. However, uh, something came to my attention again when I woke up. A uh, bunch of people are trying to turn this into a joke. It is not a joke. Hmm? No, it's not a joke. Don't try to downplay what happened to my family yesterday. It's not a joke. And trust me, <laughs> that's if, if, if the UK stands for anything, if there's any truth to what we hear about the justice system in the UK, this person that did this to my family will be brought to book. And no, it's not a joke. Good morning, welcome guys. It's not a joke. You know, some people are laughing about it, thinking that, oh, you know, people are playing, you know, it's just, no. She's okay now, but the trauma of what she went through yesterday is gonna stick with her forever. This girl didn't sleep at all at night. She kept, she kept thinking about the person's face. She couldn't sleep last night. So it's not a joke. It's not a joke. So please don't make don't make um don't make a joke out of people's predicaments. There's nothing funny about almost losing your life. You never come out of that. It is psychologically damaging. It is extremely traumatizing. Right? There's nothing to lie. You can't you can't lie about like it's not a joke. The British police though they do not take this lightly. They are the ones trying to tell us that we're, we're trying to make this look like it was just an attack. They don't joke with knife crimes. They don't joke with, with that kind of threat to life. No, they don't. Okay, yes, and there were cameras. And yes, the investigation is underway. So don't think it's a joke. It's not. It's not. She really is traumatized and it's not funny, yeah, because she's a strong person. If she wasn't a fit person, we would be saying something different right now. We would be planning a funeral right now. If my sister wasn't exercising every day, if she was me, I, I'm not strong. Like, I don't have physical strength. I can carry, um, my sister can carry twice the weight that I can carry. Like, when we're lifting, right, I can lift maybe like, what, 10 kg? easily she can do 20 that girl is a strong girl and that's the only reason why you people are here trying to make it look like it's a joke no it's not and yes they have assured us that they will find the person they will call her to the uk thank you very much guys thank you so much for the stars they will call her to the uk to identify this person her brain her head she cannot function she cannot function. She is thinking. Yeah, I knew, I knew people are online saying, oh, it's a joke. Oh, it's a prank. Well, what is funny about almost losing your life? Oh, because she's a strong girl and you saw that I was on the phone telling her to record every damn thing. Because I know where you are from. I know what you have been through on this internet. Right? People would tell people, like, just the way it's going on, even with all the evidence right out there, the police are actually, like, terrified. Even with everything going on, with all the evidence out there, people still believe that, uh -huh, it's a it's a prank. It's not. It's not a joke. This is what I woke up to this morning. People actually going from, oh, my God, how is she doing to, wow, it was a prank. No, there's nothing funny about that. You shouldn't make mockery of the UK police. Don't make mockery of the UK justice system. Okay? Do not make mockery of them. They don't find this funny. Neither should you find this funny. Okay? It's not a joke. This is not something to, to laugh about. Because if she had lost her life on vacation in the UK, we will be talking about something else entirely right now. The only reason... She, we are talking about this is because she is a strong person, like I said. Nobody slept. She couldn't sleep. 
She closes her eyes. She sees that woman. She sees that woman. So please don't don't make lightly of of the justice system here. If it, you, know, you think that if if anybody was trying to um uh, to paint a picture of oh I was attacked in the UK, you think if that was the case, you think that we will get this far? Do you know when she left the police station yesterday? Do you know if this person has been implicated in other crimes? You don't know the you don't know the half of it. And here you are making a mockery of the UK justice system making a mockery of the UK police, making a mockery of a, as something that a human being experienced real life, real time. She, ex, she experienced, like she, she went through that. She cannot be the same again. Her life is not the same again. She's never going to be as free as she was before. The Cora you knew before yesterday is gone. She's an entirely different person now. So please don't make likely of, of people's, people's traumatic events. It's not funny. That's just what I came to say. I, I don't expect um, people that do not experience things for some to understand this, right? But if you, if you experience trauma, you would know that it never goes. It's never the same. She was not as free as before. If, 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 if oh God, the Cora that you know, you know, would not... I'm trying to hold myself from saying certain things that might affect her investigation. But please, that's the new thing that I've seen on my page today. I've seen in my emails today, people laughing about this, trying to make mockery of the UK police. <laughs> yeah, right. Correct, the UK police. Yeah, so you think the UK police is a circus? You think it's a circus? You think so? You think over 17 people who, who stayed there to make sure she was okay, in front of of that apartment, you think they are, they are they are just you know uh, uh, Hollywood actors, right? There's not there's nothing to joke about the UK police system, okay? There's nothing to joke about that. If she wasn't on live video, a lot of you will say that she was making it up. A lot of you will say she made it up, and I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. Now you go through, I, I was, I've, I've been in a traumatic uh, situation before where I almost had an accident. The only thing that came out of my, la my mouth was Jesus. I shouted Jesus till I lost my voice. Nobody goes through that kind of thing. Okay. And then you come on, you come to my page to laugh. I say, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> the UK police must be joking. Like who, who the heck? Why? There's nothing funny about that. She's just trying to put her life together. It took a lot. She was, she, she, yesterday she went home at, at 1 a.m. from the police station. 1 a.m. Do you know how you have to detail your entire, and several witnesses. And you are here joking about it. <laughs> the UK police is a joke. <laughs> Hold on. I need to block someone. Hold on a minute. Yeah, so the Cora that you knew before has it, 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 it's not even going to be the same anymore. She's not going to be the same. That's why we're here saying, please keep her in your prayers because this happened to her. And there's nothing you could, you guys can do to change that. Okay? There's nothing you people can do to change that. It happened to her. Because of, the, of what we have permitted to happen online. Okay? Um, nobody is here blaming anyone. Nobody's, and if, oh yes, I also want to address something. So my Kenyan brothers and sisters, yesterday I came out and I said something. You know what? This is probably something I shouldn't be saying, but the evidence that we have, right? The evidence of threat to her existence that we have. Do you know that over 70% of it, and I'm not joking, 70 percent over 70 percent because when we actually calculated how many of these threats to her life are from who and who over 70 percent of them are from east africa and that's why i am fascinated i really want to know why 
Why? I'm not talking about uh, who has a blog or who is doing. No, no. Threat to life is different from anything else. When someone says, I will meet you in the UK or I will show you in the UK or you would, you will be on a lad. And you check on their names and where they are from. And it says this is where they are from. You guys don't see all those things because most times those comments are hidden. Those people are blocked. But we have documented every single threat to her life. And when I say something, I know exactly what I'm saying. Not people that come online to make noise. No, I'm not talking about that. Direct threats to her existence is what I'm talking about. And that is why I'm scared. Because I really want to know what this girl did. Okay, so I don't have any beef with Kenyans. Kenyans are my, like my, I love them to death, to, to, to the moon and back. But the people that are going far, that we have documented, are from there. And I want to know why. I honestly want to know why. There's no point coming to my page. Come and say, how dare you? I will block your ass off my page. You people are not rich. You're not the ones online feeling the heat. The bullying. You're not there. No, you're not. And so I want to tell everyone that is making... Um, coming. This one is even Nigerian. At least this one, it was not blocked. But yeah, I just wanted to come out to say that, please, this is not a joke, all right? It's not. The UK police is not a joke. The, the justice system here is not a joke. All the weaknesses are not jokers. The human being that went through it is not a, a robot. That's a human being. And whether or not you, you don't see her, you know, as one, that doesn't mean that you get to downplay her experience or downplay her attack. Okay? Okay? I, a lot of us lost sleep, I know, right? I didn't sleep until she left that, that place. Like, you come on holiday and now you have scars all over your body. And then someone's laughing. Ha ha, it's so funny. Ha ha, you can police. Ha ha, jokers. No? This person will be found. We have been assured. I will fly down. She will fly down to identify this person. This person will be found. And I have, I have faith in the system of this country that they will find that person. And that person will be brought to book. I have faith in the justice system of this country. I know where I'm coming from. I know where I'm coming from. The fact that you, you Kenyans are taking this seriously. You are not the only country in East Africa. I don't know why you are taking it lightly. Like yesterday you expressed all the hate that you've been having in your heart towards my family. Like you just, you just poured it out. How did you know if I could? Like sure, how did you know that I don't know? Were you at the crime scene? Do you know what this person said before she left? Do you know? Did you listen to everything that happened? Or you just heard what happened? Do you know what happened when she ran outside? Do you know what happened? No, you don't. No, you don't. This is not a joke. Okay? It is not. And that's what I came to say. I just, I, I really appreciate all your prayers. Like, I woke up and I felt like strengthening. Like, you know how when you're... Throughout yesterday, I just felt like a vegetable. I was just like, oh my God. And then the moment I went through my phone, I was just like, oh God, oh God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. If you were attacked, will you, we, w do you know that Cora's phone has all her bank cards? Do you know that phone had an ID? If you were attacked, you'd be looking for your phone. If the attackers run out, with your phone that has all your bank cards and you have men on the scene already, right? You have men on ground. Nobody called carries. You guys, you need to stop. I didn't, you are not the only country in East Africa. And the fact that you are lashing out with hate means that it's, all, it's already in you. There are Kenyans that understand what I'm saying. You don't have the evidence we have. Have you seen the comments from people from East Africa threatening to unalive her? No. 
Do you know how much evidence we have concerning what I said? I'm not talking about hate now. I'm talking about threat to life. It's okay to not like somebody and just say, but like when you go as far as saying, I will do this to you. I will unalive you. Do you know what it means? And for someone to say that you don't have, you don't wear the shoes, you don't know where it pinches. Okay? She ran for her phone because she would not be able to leave the UK if she didn't have a green card. If she didn't have a phone. That phone has a, is a pouch, what she uses to go live on YouTube. Has all her, her cards. So why wouldn't she run away? When the guys, when men were already there, why wouldn't she run and pursue this person? Do you, you don't even know half of the story, but you're here saying, so Nigerian, if I was attacked, I wouldn't go for my phone. It's not funny. Please stop it. Stop it. We're going to watch how we're going to, now I'm going to see whether or not the UK is as good as they say they are. Okay. Nobody's attacking Kenyans, and I'm not never going to do that. You're not the only country in West Africa. And if I said what I said, there is a reason. There is a reason for it. Every time somebody makes a threat to her life, we document it. And when there's a pattern, when there's a pattern, I'm not talking about people say, oh, I hate the way she dresses. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when someone says, I am going to do this to you when you come to the UK. Or when I see you, and you see there's a pattern of where these people are from, then you have to ask questions. That's what you guys should be talking about. Why that kind of hate, as you know that kind of hate that makes you want to take a knife? That's the kind of hate I'm talking about. Why that? Because you don't like the dressing? Because you don't like the, the, the history of the person? Hmm? It's not a joke. The UK police uh, department, the justice system, have tagged the police department in charge of this. Every single threat to her life going forward is going to help us. Okay? It's going to help us. What the person used on her skin was a double strength salicylic acid. I don't know if that's cosmetic or whatever. It was an acid and it did burn her. There are different strengths of acid. Even if you're an illiterate, you would know that it's not easy to acquire, you know, acid online acid enough to actually cause bodily harm it's not easy to cut to to acquire it online this person brought it poured it and it was there at the crime scene and that's how they were able to find out what to put what to do to neutralize it so yes yeah, kara is wrapped up in god's arms i'm grateful that this was the that she actually came out alive but please hmm? Please, don't make likely of this situation. Don't turn it into a joke. It's not. It's not. A human being's life was actually threatened yesterday. And if not for God, we wouldn't be here. If not for God, we wouldn't be here. I'm not even going to apologize for that. Because you don't have the evidence that we have. You don't even want, like when you, when you say, you, you talk like you are Cora, like when does it threat to your life? Like I know everybody that has threatened my life, I have every single information about them on my phone. Like there's a list with their names. And when you check up these people and you check their backgrounds, right? When you check their backgrounds, that's what I'm talking about. Nobody comes online to write what they're going to do to someone. When it comes to an alive in the person, they don't just write it. So why are these people writing it freely? Why are they writing it without care? Why are they writing it like it's normal? Hmm? It's not normal. That's not the way my Kenyans are. My Kenyans that I know are friendly. They are beautiful. They are amazing people. So why is it that even the Nigerians that are treating her worse, like coming on blogs and saying all sorts of bullying, why is it that they are not the ones doing the threatening of life why is it that is them that's what i want to know so instead of attacking me why don't you why don't you think about what i'm saying okay 
Why is it that it's the people that I love that are writing these terrible things? When the police say, okay, who do you think is worried about your existence? Who do you think she's trying to unalive you? And you bring out evidence and you're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, up to 20 people are from a, a, a particular place. Why? That's what I said. So if you try to twist everything I said, you're not the only country in East Africa. You're not the one receiving the bullying. You're not the one involved. You don't even know the half of the evidence that we have. So please don't make it a country war. I'm not interested in fighting with anybody. I have best of friends from Kenya who are amazing people. However, if I say that this suspect was, I know what I'm saying. Okay? Please, don't make lightly of this. Don't, don't don't turn this into a joke. Please. Please, every evidence, and I'm here to appeal. There's a case number, there's a case file opened. There's a case number now. Every evidence you have concerning this situation, I need you to please send it to me. Any evidence of anybody still trying, coming for her life, still coming for her business, still coming for her, you know, just trying to bully her, please send it to me. I'm begging in the name of God. You have my email. Guys, there's a case file open now and I need to see the end of this. I need to know whether or not the almighty UK justice system will indeed come through. Because it's not okay to come on vacation and almost lose your life. No, that's not okay. That traumatizes you for life. Cora will never be the same. She will never be the same. Ever. She will never be the same. And it's not a joke. You come, like, the reason why I feel, I feel comfortable coming on vacation in a first world country like this is because I feel like, oh, nothing is going to happen. Everywhere is safe. And then when your safety is compromised, and then people in, that, in those same countries are, are making a joke of it, right? They are making a joke of it. Like, <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing happened. Really? Really? We're not blaming anyone. Obviously, no, no, it wasn't a man that went there. It wasn't. But we all know that nothing happens. Like, <laughs> it's like people have not been following this situation. Nobody's going to try and, and twist this around to turn the attention to him. No, it's not about you. It's about somebody who was attacked. It's not about you. Nobody cares about you. You're not the person who was attacked. If you find any evidence, there's a case file opened now and I am and I am at liberty to share information that I believe will help their investigation. So please share with me. I'm begging you in the name of God. You have opened files for everybody that has ever threatened her life, one way or the other. Please, please send it to me. Send them to me. Please. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Let me block this person. Thank you for tagging me, Uju Uju. God bless you. Don't joke with it. Don't joke with it. I don't want to swear for all the people that are joking with this. I don't want to swear. I don't want to swear for all the people that are joking about this. But I pray that when you, when you are fighting for your life, hmm, when you are crying and begging for someone to spare your life, hmm, I pray somebody doesn't joke about that. Just because you're a content creator. I told her, don't put that phone down. When I called her, I was like, what is this I'm hearing? Do not put your phone down. Record every single thing. I don't care if the camera is clear or clean. I don't care. I record every single conversation, every single thing that is happening to you right now. Because that's important. Something happened to you on a live video. Oh, hold on. Hold on. All right. All right. Nobody wants her, but here you are on my page, struggling for relevance. Hmm? Is that because nobody wants you in real life?
<laughs> exactly, Julie. Thank you. It's not it's not a joke. Oh. I'm here to collect every single information. I've told them, even though I'm in Nigeria, I will get on the next flight to come here if it means that I will be able to to help. Okay. And I tell you that my entire family did not sleep. I meant it. Like nobody closed their eyes for one second until she was placed on the on on um and she, she was placed on the next flight back. Nobody slept. Nobody closed their eyes. She wasn't supposed to go immediately, but nobody closed their eyes. Hmm? My sister has been live streaming her life for quite a while now. It's been over seven years, almost a decade of live streaming. Sometimes you, you, you know, sometimes things happen. Okay. Sometimes things happen and then you just, you start to think about your entire existence. She's been live streaming and she's had no issues so far. But now this is one traumatic situation that even I am scared for her because of what she had to go through. May you never, may you never beg for your life. May you never beg someone to, to, to please spare your life. You, may you never experience that. Every time I think about that, I, I, I just find myself crying. Because I'm like, you came, spent money to come to a country, a first world country on vacation. Nobody deserves that. Even my worst enemy, I would never pray that on my worst enemy. My worst enemy was was a, on a vacation, you know, almost helpless. I don't pray for them to be in that situation. Thank God. Thank God that this girl is a fit and strong girl. If that had happened to me, you know, sometimes when you go through stuff, strength just comes from nowhere, right? But the way she described exactly what happened, only a strong person can actually, like, stop that from happening, right? So that, that's, that's why I'm here to say thank you to God. Thank you to you guys for the strength that you've given her. She has received probably over a thousand emails from yesterday and DMs. My DMs are blocked. There's no space. I can't even open it. Like, it's too full. And so I know that I have received your strength and I know that you guys are there. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you. May you never have to beg for your life. May you never have to beg another human being created by God for your life. When you see somebody's eyes and you see that the person is coming for your life, the person is coming for your stomach, the person wants to sniff the life out of you, you wouldn't beg. You wouldn't beg. You wouldn't apologize for whatever it is that brought that much hate in somebody's heart to take a knife. You wouldn't beg. Is that what you're trying to tell me? If it wasn't a prank, why is she apologizing to the person? She probably stole her husband. No! Hate can grow into something, something bigger than life itself. Hate is, is such a dangerous, such a dangerous thing. It can grow into something that even you, the hater, might not even recognize. She saw her eyes. And she saw what she wanted to do. That girl wanted to snip the life out of her. She wanted to snuff her out. She wanted to take her out. She had to beg for her life. I pray you never have to beg for your life. I pray nobody makes a joke out of your, your traumatic situation. I pray nobody makes a joke out of it. I pray nobody does. This is just me saying thank you to everybody that came through for her. Everybody that supported, sent a message, sent information. Um, I got quite a, I got a very useful email 
yesterday. I'm so grateful. And that was handed over to the police as well about the information of one of the people that have, uh, you know, threatened their life in the UK. I'm very grateful. Thank you for that. Um, I'm going to look for your name and send and send a message back to you. God bless you. Thank you for that message. I really appreciate it because when you were asking me to feel uh, to to tell to say something, I didn't know the her real name, and then your email came in with her real name, and so I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. You can't you can't even say right now. You can't even tell what you're going to do if you are in in a situation where you have to to fight for your life. Okay. There was a time I almost had an accident and they said that my voice was louder than the way I shouted, Jesus, Jesus, as I shouted, because when I'm in trouble, that's all I know. That's the only power I know in life. That's who I serve. That's the God I serve. I shout Jesus. She is a Christian. She speaks in tongues, whether you like it or not. And it's what is inside of you that will come out when you are in in, when you are, when you see your life flashing before your eyes, you will scream Jesus if you are a Christian or you will scream Allah if you are a Muslim. Whatever it is you serve and you hold dear and you believe has power, you will scream it. You will scream it. You will apologize to anybody. You will apologize to anybody and everybody just to please let you live. I pray you never experience that in your life. I pray to God that you never experience that. And I pray that nobody makes mockery of what you experience. If eventually you experience that, I pray to God. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Any information you have, please, you know my email. is nancyobidi at gmail.com. The case is open. I, I trust that the UK police will not let us down. They have promised us that if they have to call us to come back to the UK, even when the holiday is over, they will do so. And I'm, I'm great. I'm just grateful because they were, they understood what we are going through. You know, like when somebody's like, you don't even need to, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. We have the footage. Like they didn't even, they didn't even, they just said, chill. We have the footage. We have evidence. So don't worry yourself. We will tell you if anything happens. And they were so reassuring. They kept saying, come down, you're all right, you're all right, you're all right. You know, they kept saying, you're all right, you're all right. And I was just like, oh my God, I love, I love this country. I love the fact that they don't make, they don't make a joke of people's experience. They don't, they don't expect you to, they actually genuinely care about people. They were, they made sure she was safe, took her back to a safe place, made sure she booked a safe flight and just moved her quietly. Like, I have never experienced, I, I know where I'm coming from. I have never experienced, um, you know, this much like care from a police force, but I'm, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Ajana. If you listened well, if you didn't have hate in your heart, you would know exactly what I'm saying. I'd never, never be blamed any country. I didn't say, oh, the hell of Kenya. My people are from Kenya. A lot of my biggest supporters, my biggest, my best friends are from Kenya. Okay? Okay? A lot of you have sent me footage of what you believe to be the person's face. The police have their own CCTV footage and they've told us, don't worry, we, are, we have this, we got this, it's okay. They've told us not to worry, so please don't make mockery of the UK police. Don't make mockery of them because of hatred. Like I know sometimes hatred as a force can cover a lot. It can even cover common sense. Like you can have common sense and your common sense will disappear. Once you see that they are talking about somebody that you, you just hate so much. Even myself, the way I'm, I'm startled. Any small thing, I'm just like I'm, I'm jumpy. I'm, sh I'm in, I'm in Belfast, but I'm jumpy at every small thing. I'm just startled. I'm just like, oh my god, like that's what it does to you. 
then imagine how Cora feels right now. Just imagine what, how her heart rate yesterday was a hundred. When they checked, do you know what it means for your heart rate to be 140? Do you know what that means? For your heart to beat to 140, they had to tell her, they had to put like, they had to tell her, relax, relax, please. Before you go into a heart attack, relax. She was like me. I, you know what it means to be shaken. Not to be, you won't be able to calm yourself down. Do you know what that means? Do you know? And then you think it's okay to come online and say, ha ha, the UK police, ha ha. Like that's what you guys were sending me. Hmm? She didn't look so scared at the airport. Okay. So you would, you would provide the security. Eh, for her, who told you she was alone at the airport? Who told you she was alone at the airport? Why do you guys like saying what you don't know? Who told you she was alone? She wasn't supposed to go back today. That's what it does to you. And for you to come online and make it the joke. Like, okay, everybody is here to, to act film with you. Who is here to act film with you? If you can't empathize with people, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Do you? <clears throat> her heart rate yesterday was 140. They checked her BP. They said, please, you need to, you need to, like, you need to sit down. And I was just there like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, please. Oh, my God, please. Oh, God, please. Like, that's what I kept saying. And you are here emailing me, telling me, ha, 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 ha. May you never beg for your life. May you never beg for your life. That's all I have to say. May you never be beg a fellow human being created by God. That is not even the owner of your life. Beg for your own life for that, from that person. May you never experience it. I came on, I, I plan to come online and to swear for all of you in my emails talking trash. I, I plan to come and swear heavy cause on you people today. But I just said, you know what? Actually, I pray you never experience that. I pray you never do. Please, keep her in your prayers. The same, the Cora you used to know is not the same. She's trying her best to just come back and just feel, feel like a normal person again. But it changes you. When you experience like that kind of thing, it changes you. You're never the same. You're never the same. I didn't accuse any country, neither did that come from anybody. Um, all the Kenyans in my in my um, inbox and you know insulting me. I never did come for you. I spoke based on the evidence of threat to life. Okay, I never came for you. Please, there's no need. I love you guys. I love you to 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 the moon. You guys are the ones. Like, I don't know how many people. Probably one thousand people have told me bring pots to Kenya. That's how amazing you guys are. But you guys have turned. Maybe the hate was there before. You were just looking for an outlet. But if you really love her the way you think you do, you would know when people of from your country are are putting those kind of heavy threats on her comment section. Hmm. You will attack those ones, the ones that go as far as saying. I will do this to you tomorrow. Eh? You will do, you will on a life tomorrow. Those kind of heavy, heavy comments. By the time you see them, you, I'm sure you have goosebumps. I'm sure you'll be ashamed of their names. And, you know, when you look them up and their backgrounds, I'm sure you'll be ashamed as well. So please don't make lightly of this situation. It's not a joke. All the psychologists in the house, I know you guys understand, or therapists in the house, you guys understand what Cora has been through. Anybody trying to turn this into his own, uh, turn, turn this into like a, an attention seeking um, situation, trying to make it about him, it's not about him. Nobody gives a hoot about him. Don't come and tell me anything about him. Nobody cares. Okay, nobody cares. It's not about him. It's not. A human being's life was affected. Okay? A human being's life was affected. 
the mother's life was affected. And if she had gone, we wouldn't be here talking all these things now. And all those that try over over advisors, all those people that feel like they know the I know you sometimes eh, you might love someone, right? But you will give advice that will make people think believe that you actually do not. You know, you might be saying something from a place of love, but it will come out with so much vile and then it doesn't feel like that anymore. Hmm? Her life will never be the same. Any information you have about anybody stalking, threatening, bullying, all those things, doing all those things, please, I'm begging you in the name of God. It doesn't even matter if it's in the UK. Please send it to me. And even comments of people under those people's pages. I need you to please send it to me. Please. They've told me... Um, They've told me that, you know, then now there's a case open and that every information we have will be useful. Okay? So please, and they've assured us that everything will be sorted. We shouldn't worry. In fact, if they have to call us back, they've told them we will get on the next flight and come back to identify this person. Cora has her, her picture, her face ingrained in her brain. She told me, I can't stop seeing this. I close my eyes. I see her. I see her eyes and how red they were. And how she was consumed with trying to hurt. That's what happens to you. She says she's never going to forget that face. In 10 years time, they call her to identify that face. She will know that face. Okay? You better get out of this place. That's how you people, you, you, you don't listen. Um, you don't listen to videos. You just come with your head. If you are a Kenyan here... Listen to me now. If you are a Kenyan here and you are attacking me for what I said about East Africa, you are a hater. You are. And I'm telling you with my full chest. You can't come for me. Your entire country cannot come for me. Because you were not there when we were presenting the evidence. How would you explain when 70% of a list of people who have threatened to unalive your family is from a particular region? It's not about sentiments here. It's about the evidence. If you are Kenyan here and you really love her, you will be concerned. You wouldn't be coming for me. And then I accuse the whole country like that. Who, 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 you don't listen. You don't understand English. You don't understand English. You are here at the crime scene. No. Do you know what happened when my sister ran after this girl who took her phone her, that had her, all her cards? No. You don't know. You're not the only country in East Africa. And the fact that you're coming to troll me now just says a lot about you. It just says that you have always had that hate in your heart. And now you're looking for the perfect opportunity to display your hate. And I don't really care about that. I'm just saying that if you are a true lover of Cora and you are from East Africa and you think that this is the right time to come and talk about how you shouldn't have shut up your mouth, you shouldn't, then you are to, we need to look at you. We need to really, really study you and the hatred that you carry in your heart. Because you have always been a hater right from time. Always. Why is it that the other countries that are hating on her, they just hate on her like normal. They don't go as far as saying, I will do this to you. You would, you would on a life at this particular day. They don't go as far as writing those kind of things. Why is it that they don't do the extreme why is it that they don't write the extreme? I wouldn't say do now. Why is it that they don't write the extreme? Why do I have evidence of only Kenyan names? Why? That's what you should be asking. Instead of coming for me. You can't come for me. Because you don't wear the shoes. Because I'm wondering. If this girl has hurt you so much. And you love her so much. If this girl has hurt, like, hurt you. You don't like her at all. Why do you have to write it? Because even if. If you don't carry it out, some psycho somewhere can read it and think, oh, this is possible. I'm going to go ahead and carry it out. Kenyans are not like that. And the fact that these people that are doing these things, you guys don't even know the half of it. 
the fact that the people that are doing these things have those names, I have the right to talk about it because it's a problem now. Okay? To this person that is commenting all these things, I just pray to God that you are never in that situation where you have to beg for your life. Hmm? I pray. I pray. Thank you, Kelly. She says, reflecting on the fact that we are having a having a lovely time last Friday, just one week ago. What a meet and greet. We were in a room full of love, holding her. Yeah, this this um this vacation. This vacation quickly turned into something else. I had so many plans today. I haven't gone anywhere. I'm stuck in this room because I'm scared. I'm stuck here. I have so many plans. Broco even went out to, to get something for me. But like... Thank you, Diana. This is just me telling you, if you have anything, let me know. And also, thank you. She will not die. Amen. She will not die today. She will live. She will live to declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This is the best thing that could happen. The fact that she came out alive. She only had a few. She has a few bones on her back. She has a few scars on her leg. She has a few cuts on her hands. She has a few bones on her face. That's it. That's it. Coral takes good care of her skin. Those things will clear in no time. So yeah, whoever came, whoever was sent, whoever tried this, the UK police is coming for you. You are going to answer to the law. You are going to be brought to book. They have assured us that, listen, nothing is going to happen eh, to you here again. This person is going to be brought to book. So yeah. Let's see if the if if the UK police are, are, are also in bed with you guys in the hatred. Let's see if they are part of your UK your 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 UK hating train as well. I know, right? If she did not leave, is this what you people will be saying? Oh yes, yeah, so the joke. So we're waiting for her to actually she will actually be unalived. So because she's not unalived now, that's why you're 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 here gallivanting all over my email telling me ha ha it's a prank. <laughs> the UK I'm like, do you think this is a joke? The UK police is a joke, right? Anyways, thank you guys. Thank you all so much. I'm going to go off now. I'm just so grateful. Thank you all so much. To my Kenyan queens, my Kenyan kings and queens, you have my heart, okay? Please, I'm begging in the name of God. I didn't come for you because, just because. Trust me when I tell you, that there is something going on that you don't even know about. There is something going on and I'm talking evidence, okay? Please don't don't turn it into something else. Please, right? Don't turn it into something else. You can't take my love away from you. You can't take the love I have from Kenya from you. You don't even know. <laughs> I'm planning to visit Kenya now. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. You can't take the love I have for Kenya away from me. There's nothing you can do. Okay? And if I said that, and you're really lovers of her, you need to go and investigate as well. Okay? Investigate why those kind of heavy, heavy threats. You know, those kind of heavy ones. Right? Those kind of heavy ones are from there. That's all. That's all I need from you. Hmm? Thank you all so much. Please pray for her. Pray for her. She's going to be home soon. Pray for her. Everything will be fine in the name of Jesus. She will live. She will not die to declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Love you guys. God bless you. Bye.